Hey guys, Holden here, and I'm just doing a redstone tutorial. Um, I'm not kind of sure how I'm gonna. Well, I know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm not sure how what like if you guys will like it or not. So if you don't like it the way I do this, um, just tell me, and I'll actually do a proper video of me actually building it. But for this, this specific redstone design, I don't really think I need to actually build it. I think I can just show you. But yeah, just in case. But anyway, for the purpose of the video, I'm doing a automated pumpkin or watermelon farm. And pretty much, this is just the basic version of it here, not covered up or anything like that. But um, pretty much you'll have your seeds here. They'll grow on these blocks here. There will be one also here, and once it grows, because it'll be growing at the same rate as these, it grows, it grows that, and does that. Pushes them in the water. That one there gets stuck here sometimes, but as you can see over there, I have uh, like some blocks going across there, so it can't fling over the water. It has to go into the water. Um, anyway, all it is really is I have two different, well, whoops, generally I have three uh, different piston set up so I have these five here these five down here and this one over here this one over here is pretty much kind of what activates the whole thing and then resets itself once this grows boom it sends the redstone current uh, from there through through this block into the repeater and through the redstone circuit and up to here these are on two, set on to two. These are set on one. And that one. Oh, yeah. No, that's right, yeah. This one is normally set on three. Sorry, I didn't get one set up. Um, but yeah, anyway, so because you want these ones to go up a fraction of a little bit like a fraction of a second before these ones and you want this to go up a fraction of a second after this one so anyway this is yeah um yeah so it got like that so all it's pretty simple really just you can pretty much see it um piston coming up through here through here it leads to this block, this block is powered and then therefore powers this. Without this block here, it doesn't reset and then that works like that. Um, but yeah, like I've said, nothing really too special. I just thought it's a really, really great idea for automated um, automated farms and then it also leads down into a hopper which leads into this chest and yeah that's pretty much it over here I'll show you how it's, how I have it set up as you can see over here I have these lights in here for it to grow I have oh no anyway I have this going across here so it can't, they can't be pushed too far out they just hit this fall into the water if you want to be super careful cover up this bottom one as well so they can't get stuck on the bottom one they all get stuck and pushed into this chest here which is also going to a hopper I have it all underground all hooked up here it's the dirt it's growing on there's the piston the redstone comes up through here there's the back bit and pretty much here this, oh, this is where this the power run how it runs is from here through here it runs up into these ones and down through here runs into these ones up through here and back around to back to the back to the start of the circuit and then it just resets itself it's um yeah so like over here you're always going to be leaving one pumpkin or one watermelon whatever you decide but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because you can have this as long as you want i'll set it up as a five but well you can have it running pretty much 
as many as you want. You could have like 50, 60, 100 if you really wanted. All you have to do is just keep this going, really. Um, and just add next extra repeaters every few redstone. I normally do it every five or six ish redstone blocks, so it keeps the power source going pretty good. But yeah, this is um, my tutorial. Um, these are everything you'll need. Not the exact quantity, but these are a list of everything you'll need right there. But um, yeah. Uh, if this wasn't in depth enough, if you actually want to see me building it, just comment below and I'll do that. But hopefully this um, should be sufficient and you should be able to understand it from this. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay uh, tuned for uh, a lot more videos. I have a couple more coming up. So thanks for watching.